is the actual Battling the cold, hundreds of mothers accompanied by their children arrived at the Supreme Court of the United States hoping to have their voices heard and that the court takes the case that will lead to the implementation of two immigration executive orders that would allow them to not live in fear of being separated. The Supreme Court is the entity that has to represent us. We are hopeful that the response will be favorable to our community. If they go against our people, we have no other option but to continue mobilizing and fighting for the right to live freely in this country. The decision fell on the Supreme Court after a district court in Texas blocked the two executive orders issued by President Barack Obama in 2014. These resolutions would grant work permits and temporary stay in the country to parents of U.S. citizens and permanent residents, as well as youth who entered the country before turning 16 years old. If they decide to take the case, and we are hopeful that the Supreme Court will take the case, we could have an answer today, and we would also have the agenda of when paperwork needs to be submitted, as well as oral arguments, and we hope to have a final answer by the end of June. Recent mass deportation raids have caused a feeling of rejection among the Latino community in the United States. If they do not approve that law, it's better to stay in our countries of origin, because here we are not welcome. I have been here 11 years living in the shadows and walking around in fear. For many immigrants, the possibility of coming to the U.S. seems more and more difficult. They also see the probability of immigration reform as almost unattainable. In an election year, the speeches heard from the aspiring candidates are disappointing the community, whose vote was key in the 2012 presidential election. During this campaign, the immigration issue has been barely raised, and when it has, it is usually to attack migrants. Immigrant rights organizations are here, outside of the Supreme Court of the United States, waiting to hear whether or not they will take the case that could help 5 million people with an irregular migratory status begin a path to legalization through two executive orders known as DAPA and Extended DACA. Bianca Perez, Telesur, Washington, D.C.